I keep scratching my head wondering, how does Fiddler's Green have such variety of models presenting their latest classic, the TA-183 Huck B. Let's begin. So, like I said before, and I'll say it again, just head on over to their website, fiddlersgreen.net. You'll be pleasantly surprised. And here we have the Focke Wolf TA-183 Huckabee or Huckbine. There, it's called a Raven. We have the engine inlet, the nose, the main fuselage, the tail section, the main wings, the fin and rudder integrated. Here we have the landing gear and gear door bay. This looks pretty simple and straightforward. Well, let's hope it is pretty simple and straightforward. Here are the three views, top, side profile, front, and the instructions on how to put this model together. So let's dive right in. The tools needed, you know the drill. My tacky glue, I can't emphasize enough get that particular glue super glue my glue stick my exacto knife tweezers many many tweezers let me tell you you need them you will learn to love them your steel rule so that your knife can cut straight your scissors and a cutter any cutter will do right now and toothpick. Do not underestimate the beauty of having a toothpick. And cake decorating tool for rounding edges. And pretty much this is it. So let's cut the parts out. Again, I say it once, I say it again. This is just my basic thing to do. Cut all the parts out. The seat we won't be using on this model because the cockpit is not transparent. Cut out the canopy there. We'll cut along the fuselage, the exhaust, and pretty much the parts to work with. And we will begin with the wings. This is supposed to be a simple matter of cut, using a tweezer, the sharp end I use to score, to fold, and glue. So that's it. And here you see me folding, and then we glue the trailing edge and the wingtip. On a flat surface, might I add, this does matter to get that trailing edge really looking neat. Any trimming you can do at this point, but yeah, you have your two wing halves, pretty neat. And the fin, same thing. It's almost as if you are assembling another wing panel, so treat it as such. This aircraft really fascinates me because it's one of those emergency warfighter projects. You look and it's definitely a what if. I knew it had a second life somewhere in Argentina. I forgot what they call it. You could remind me in the comments what they did. But yeah, pretty much that was it. The stabilizer. For the stabilizer, you see I'm cutting it. I'm not cutting it in half totally. So just pay attention to that. It does require you to cut halfway along that line. You fold because the stabilizer put a little roll there. The stabilizer is canted upward. It has a serious dihedral. So make sure you build that into your model. Okay. A matter of fact, let's integrate this with our fin. So it's a matter of taking the fin, we're going to put it on top like that. A little glue supposed to start it. Now you see I check in to make sure it has that dihedral. It looks like at least 10 degrees, 5 to 10 degrees, kid you not. Put a little glue on the top of it and then slot that stabilizer right there. Secure in place using a little bit of super glue. Yeah, clean that up and there we have it. 
maybe 10 degrees is excessive but you must have that bed in it and now we are on to the landing gear door simple fold and watch what I'm going to do with my knife handle blade you see I put that curve in there that is to simulate the curve of the fuselage itself so don't forget to add that curve to your model and those are the nose gear landing doors pretty much so far I like how this model is going it really is one of the quickly built models so in this part here we're going to be doing the landing gears and the wheels the main landing gear looks a bit frail and thin of course we're going to fold it in half like they suggested just cut off the excess here so I can see the guide for that landing gear strut I fold it and then carefully I'm going to do the same for the nose landing gear that fold you see me doing here it is so that I can put the wheels on let's just firm that up a bit make a little hole here put in a thin slice of toothpick this will straighten the nose gear and let's cut that out and then we're going to straighten it using super glue yeah because it's frail it's flimsy a little super glue on it will just add structure to it think of it like thin plastic and we have cut out our main landing gear and again we also straighten it because it's flimsy so we're going to just add some super glue to add strength we do the wheels like we always did them we just cut it out roll add glue and take your time it's not a race okay take your time and dry the model this one here took approximately three hours to put together and in between you know took a break so it's a one evening model and don't don't rush it i mean just enjoy the process yeah wheel done we can color the edges right now if we wanted so we just do the other wheel and then the nose wheel we repeat the same process now all these filler green models what you are seeing here it's almost as if you are repeating how to build you're establishing some basic ideas of what it would take and you're making and creating your own technique how to do this craft when you hit complicated model it will be second nature to you how to build based on just doing these models to start with yeah let's deal with the fuselage part we're going to cut out all the fuselage all right we're not going to use the instrument panel because of course the cockpit we won't be able to see the pattern so we'll make sure cut the parts so clean them up and especially make sure we have the tabs when we're ready it's fascinating when you look at the t183 and you're wondering if it heavily influenced how the soviet big 15 was or it's competitor the big 50 did have a competitor here is a center fuselage and wing integration we're going to start constructing the fuselage using the center piece first okay we we'll cut we we'll use our brush handle to roll and here's the thing you're going to try to roll roughly the profile of what that model fuselage is it really helps in the end i know those tabs i know it is tiring sometimes but trust me it pays off to just cut those tabs yeah we're joining the bottom first press it against a flat surface 
and then we're doing the sides because here it bends and comes in a bit. Now we're going to make holes and pay attention. This is where we're going to put toothpick now at the front and at the trailing edge, just a little away from the trailing edge. When we do this, we're going to put toothpick in and these toothpick will brace the wing first off at level, make it horizontal and give some structural brace into the wings so that we are really good with it. So here you see me now putting toothpick into the leading edge area. It's already in the trailing edge and then I'm going to snap the toothpick back. Okay. Do not worry about if you're snapping it at the right angle or the right area. That will come later. I'll show you how. But we snap them this way. And then we do a test fit. And that's what I'm talking about. Okay. It gets there. We put some glue where it's going to join. Put some glue on the wig root. Slide it in place. And then we use our invaluable tweezer this is why I love it and we brace the wing right against it and that my friend is how we get smooth wing strong wing if you want to you can just tip a little bit of super glue in the wing root and make it just hold very quickly repeat the same to the other side and we are good brace it with your tweezer Make sure that joint is firm and you're good. Look at that. Beautiful. And then for the rest of the assembly, we're good. We treat it standard where we're forming the rear half of the fuselage. We just make sure things are aligned and we lock everything in place using our tweezer. And then we go down to the tail section. So the rear half of the fuselage, you see I'm there putting a slight curve on the edge here. That is to help with the fitting on the tail here. So it looks a lot smoother. Because if I make a mistake, it won't be as obvious, yeah? And we lock everything in place. Nice. I'm just cutting out from now the tailpipe inside. The last fuselage tip, we're painting black the inside, using our toothpick to roll it. Glue as usual, and then we're going to attach this. Now, once we are completed with attaching the tailpipe, then we put our engine in, which is this, all right? Use my X-Acto knife blade to guide it into position. There you go. And we're done with the rear. Now we're on to the front. You see how quick that was? We'll roll, and though this is important, you see I'm using this toothpick to roll that very edge. We'll put it on this and we then clamp it in place. And just like what we did for the rear part of the fuselage, we're doing for the forward part now. And you're noticing that I have always put glue on the panel, not on the tab. Because the tabs already are small they're soft but the panel can take the curve the shape and now we're putting in the engine inlet pretty much treat it like we did with the outlet at the rear of the fuselage right we lock in place we guide it in and looking good put some glue here on the panel and then we finish the cockpit one side at a time Doing the other side here, looking good. Now, we cut 
the toothpick in the center so we can find the correct adjustment for the fuselage and there we have it simple canopy assembly you know the drill already if you have been watching this for a while cut the canopy out we're going to then just follow the basic instruction we roll using our brush handle we roll both ways actually and then glue the joining tabs and then we put it on make sure to check the alignment when you're finished applying the canopy look on the canopy in relation to your main wing and make sure it is absolutely centered and level let's put on the tail on this bird and get going this is a simple one two as we would say a little hole a little toothpick in the hole we are going to super glue it in and cut yeah making sure that's 90 degree and then we put on we check the fit it fits good we then glue always check the fit before you glue that way you can avoid painful mistakes okay we secure it with a little super glue use my multi tool to wipe it properly and there we have it a basic hook beam landing gear installation straight off the bat just put a hole in the front just enough for the toothpick to get through secure it with super glue and just a one notch for the main landing gear secure in place with super glue okay and check your angles to make sure you have the right angle okay this part here is a frailest part of this kit so pay careful attention we put our landing gear doors on and that's it it has been quite an enjoyable kit to build I know this one was a really decent design highly recommend you get this to add to your Luftwaffe collection if you have one you know I'm thinking of doing the bomber collection soon Pity they didn't have the HE 111, that would have been interesting. But they do have the Junkers U88, which I feel like that will be one to look out for. After we put on our main landing gear wheel, we then put on our nose wheel. We take special care to make sure, secure it with super glue, and we have ourselves a Focke Wolf TA183. Now it's time to finish her up with some good old painting. And this is where the magic comes alive. Spend the time, find the correct color, using plain old watercolor, color the edges. Color all the edges you find, okay? And your model will become one that you will feel really good about. I want to thank each and every one of you out there who is watching this, especially my Patreon supporters. You have been there with me through thick and thin, and thank you so much for believing in the dream. Chip, season's greetings, my friend. So until then, my friends, take care, walk good, one love. <music>